young girl, in my dream, <laughs> I was to be a teacher. Then came later, I decided to join the hospitality industry. After doing my diploma, I decided to look for greener pastures. I got an invitation from a friend who is in US. I went to the embassy twice and I was denied visa. Then I was heartbroken and I was like, what else from here? I'm young and uh, I was expecting a rot. Then I had to make up my mind to rise up and walk and join my mama. She was doing dairy farming, she was doing pot, and she was doing when her income was okay. My friends were telling me, oh, you are doing this job of pottery farming. It's dirty, you know, you don't like those dirty jobs. But now we have come to a rise after joining FAO and showing us the right thing and the right path. We have come to a rise. It's business. It's a source of income. It's a source of employment. You can get value addition. Yeah. There's no need of going to other countries. We have seen some youth going to even to Dubai, catch out to look for jobs. Then they come back frustrated. At the end, they are like, oh, I wish I stayed in my country. This is our home. God loves Kenya. We can do it. The market is with us. Wake up and go for it. Whatever is in your mind, you perceive it. And later on, you receive it. My mom used to tell me, do this, do this. Now I'm here. I'm the one who is doing it. She's no longer doing it now in Porto Farming. She's doing, doing dairy farming. Now my work is here. This is my office. I don't call it my pottery house. This is my office. Yeah.